Well, hello. We are going to be doing our second unit now, and we are going to be talking about dun, 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 animations. That's right. Our new goal is now that we know how to draw things is to start animating them, making them move across the screen in many different fun and interesting ways. So for our first lesson, we're going to learn how to get a shape to follow our mouse around the screen. All right. So let's just start with this. The way you normally make a circle is you just say ellipse and you'd say, let's say 200, 200, 100, 100. So remember, this is the center of the circle, the first two numbers, and this is the width and that's the height. Okay, we got a cir circle. Doesn't move, kind of boring. Let's say we wanted it to move across the screen and follow our mouse. Well, it's very simple. Now we've talked about this very lightly, but there are two P5 variables. We haven't used that word before, but a variable is something that changes. There are two P5 variables that tell you the X and Y coordinate of your mouse at all times. So if I were to just change this first thing here, instead of 200, and I put mouse X, what this is saying is that I always want the circle's X position to be where the mouse is. Now the Y is still at 200, and that width and the height are still 100 and 100, but watch what happens when I move my mouse around. You see how it follows it back and forth? It is always tracking, the center is always gonna be where the X position of my mouse is. Uh, kinda cool, right? Now you could also do the same thing if you just wanted to follow your the Y position of your mouse. So let's just do this. Put the 200 back for X and change the second one to mouse Y. So look what happens. Now it always follows the Y position of my mouse. So you see how the center is always following wherever my mouse is, up and down. Now left and right it doesn't do because the X position is always 200. That's why it's in the center of the screen. But the Y position is now following my mouse. And now if we want to follow it everywhere, we just have to use both. The center of the circle will now always be wherever my mouse is. So it'll be the X and Y position of where my mouse is. And look at this. Whoa. Cool. Now, that's not it for this lesson. If that was it, there's not much we could do with it. Now, once we wanted to make it so like, it wasn't always exactly over my mouse. Like, let's say I wanted like a face or a car or something cool like that to follow my mouse around. I would need like different shapes to be able to follow my mouse, right? But they couldn't all just be over the center. So what you'd want to do is have things follow your mouse, but not like right where the mouse is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I was trying to make, I don't know, a car, okay? And I wanted two wheels. Now, neither of the wheels should be directly where my mouse is, but there should be like one to the right of my mouse and one to the left. So what I could do is this. Instead of using mouse X, mouse Y, I could say this. If I wanted that wheel to be to the right of my mouse, I'm going to say this, plus 100. And this wheel's a little bit big. Let's make a wheel a bit smaller, so we'll do 50 and 50. So now you'll notice that, the, you see how it's not directly on my mouse anymore? It is 100 pixels to the right of my mouse. So it still follows my mouse, right? But it's always following to the right of it because it's always 100 greater than where my mouse is, okay? So you don't have to have it just follow the, like exactly where your mouse is. You could have it like in reference to where your mouse is. So let's say I want to make the second wheel. What I would do is another ellipse and make this one mouse X minus 100. So that's going to put it 100 pixels to the left of my mouse. Now mouse Y stays the same because like I just want it left and right the same height as my mouse and 50 and 50. So what you can see here is now you see how there's one 100 pixels to the right of the mouse and one 100 to the left of the mouse. And you could have it follow your mouse just like that. You can see how this car is taking shape, right? So you have two circles that now follow your mouse. You could start adding other shapes, like a rectangle, so on and so forth. So if I wanted to make like the body of my car, and I'm just gonna start guessing numbers here, this could go terribly. Let's say rect, I think it'd be like, let's see, it would be like mouse x, where do I want the left-hand corner? This is probably where I screw up this whole video. I'm just gonna give it a shot though. You know, you gotta, you gotta try it. You gotta go big, right? So I'm gonna say minus 120, mouse Y. And then it's like a 240 by, I don't know, 100? Is that too big? That is way too big. By 50? Oh, mouse Y. Let's put a little bit of bug. Okay, so let's take a look so you can debug with me. So the top left-hand corner is kind of the right spot, but it's a little bit low. So I wanna make it like above my mouse, right? So the car body should be above the mouse. So we're gonna just subtract 50 from it. Let's see how that looks. 
All right, that looks pretty good. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger and a little bit longer. So let's make it like, let's make that 260. Yeah, okay, we've got a card going on. So you can see what I'm doing here. So once again, this is just the, I put the top left corner of this mouse at 130 to the left of it, 130, like I subtracted 130, and 50 up. So it's 130 and 50 up. So that's where that top, I'm pointing to it on my screen. You obviously can't see me doing that. All right, and the width is 260 and the height is 50. So anyway, you can start building all kinds of things that now follow your mouse. You just have to use mouse X and mouse Y. A lot of fun. All right, this is the beginning of our animations. Goodbye.